Hello, my name is Brian Mounts. I run topofmycoffee.com. Today I'm coming to you with a little bit something different for the channel. I'm going to be talking about the Nespresso Espresso capsules. Over on my website, I field questions having to do with the intensity numbers on the side of the Nespresso capsules all the time. You'd be surprised how many people are asking what they mean. It's a common misconception that the intensity numbers have to do with the boldness of the flavor of the capsule. It's also a common misconception that the intensity numbers have to do with the caffeine content of the capsule. Neither of those are exactly true. Nespresso isn't very clear about what they mean, but what we do know is that it has everything to do with the roast profiles of the coffee that's inside the capsules. Lower intensity numbers generally mean a lighter roast. Higher intensity numbers generally mean a darker roast. At the low end of the scale, one, that would be the lightest roast. At the high end of the scale, the 12, that would be the darkest roast that they produce. In normal espresso making situations, many times espresso is a blend of Arabica and Robusta beans. But Robusta is mixed in because it aids in the formation of crema and it aids in picking up the level of caffeine. Because espresso is brewed so quickly, it generally has a lower caffeine content than we like to think. In my home, I tend to brew with the lighter roasts. I prefer that. Lighter roasts tend to be more acidic and a little bit more fruity. You can get a little bit more of that cherry flavor out of the coffee on a lighter roast. Also, categorically speaking, lighter roasts tend to be a little bit more caffeinated than darker roasts. The entire roasting process eliminates a lot of the acidity in the bean and it decreases the content of caffeine in the resulting coffee that you brew. For that reason, as you get into the darker roast profiles, that is when you can expect to find Robusta mixed in just a little bit to keep boosting that caffeine content and filling out the flavor profile of the dark roasted coffee bean. Over here, I've got three light roast, low intensity Nespresso capsules. Over here, I have two Lungo style capsules. These are both lower intensity capsules in the Nespresso line, but they give you literally more coffee grind inside the capsule. It's about 10 to 20% more, depending on which two capsules you're comparing. This one, for instance, each capsule is 60 grams. Whereas over here, the regular espresso capsules are 50 grams. If you tend to brew larger espresso shots or Lungo shots on your device, you're probably going to want to go for the Lungo capsules because they allow you to get a full body espresso shot even when you're brewing with more water than normal. Within the Lungo category, you still get the same intensity scale that you get in the espresso category and the same scale is used in the Nespresso Virtual line. These are only the Nespresso Original Line capsules, and I only brew on my Original Line machines. For actual coffee, I prefer stovetop coffee, French press, or curry. Over my website, I have an entire list of all of the Nespresso capsules sorted by their style and their intensity rating. I recommend that you go down and take a look at that if you want more information on the intensity scale and to learn a little bit more about how the capsules are made and how they work and the differences between them. If you found this video helpful, then please hit that like button and please consider subscribing to the channel. I try to educate my viewers as much as I possibly can and I do a lot of equipment comparisons so that you can feel a little bit better about the products that you are thinking about buying. Thank you very much for your time and I hope to see you in the next video.